Let's talk about setting some preferences in your Peachtree software. Let's come here under the Options pull down menu and let's go in to Global. Here is your decimal entry area. If you want this to be automatic or manual, make that selection here and choose the number of decimal places you want to use. You can use up to five decimal places. Some users who report everything to their vendors and customers in thousands need more decimal places. This is where you set it. Let's look at this automatic setting so you understand how this works. Right now, if I come in to sales invoicing and I come down here and I enter 199.99 and I hit my tab key, Peachtree automatically put a decimal in there for me. If I would rather do that manually, then I would close out of here, come here under Options, Global, and let's set it manual. Click OK. Now we'll go in, enter the same number again, 199.99. Now it comes out as 19,999. So I would need to enter the decimal myself, like that. That's how that setting works. Let's come back into Global. Let's go down to the next section, Hide General Ledger Accounts. On some workstations, you may not want to individual users to see certain General Ledger accounts. So you can check these off here, and then users will not see these General Ledger accounts. Now it's important to note that for these users, you will also want to limit their access to this options area so that they cannot come in and change these settings themselves. Let's go demonstrate this. Let's click OK and let's go in to sales invoicing. Now you'll see I don't have a general ledger account column here. Let's set it back. Remove the checkbox. Let's go back into sales invoicing. Now I have a GL account column. I can change the GL account column now. Let's go back into options, global. Let's come down to the next section. Other options. Warn if record was changed but not saved. This is checked by default. You'll want to leave this checked. If you want to be warned if inventory is out of stock when you're trying to sell some inventory through sales invoicing, Peachtree will alert you that you're out of stock. Here's a nice one, hide inactive records. If you've indicated a lot of customers or employees are inactive, you don't want to see their records. In other words, let's come here, maintain employees. When we click on this magnifying glass, this brings up all employees in the list. If we don't want to see those employees who are not with us anymore, we need to indicate them that they're inactive. Let's make Brandon inactive. Let's save it and close it. Now we'll come under Options, Global. We'll check this box. Now we won't see Brandon. Maintain, Employees. Click on the magnifying glass and now Brandon is not here. If we need to see inactive employees, we can simply just go back and uncheck that box and Brandon will show up. Next, recalculate cash balance automatically in receipts, payments, and payroll entry. Let's look at this. Right now, if I come into receipts, cash balance here says uncalculated. We can set Peachtree so it atom automatically calculates our cash balance when we enter any one of these three windows, receipts, 
payments and payroll entry. Now when I come in, it calculated a cash balance for me. Let's close out of here. Let's uncheck that box because we want to show you another way to calculate the cash balance. If I come in here now, it says uncalculated. Simply click on the dollar sign and it'll calculate it for you there as well. Let's come back into Options Global. Let's go over to the General tab. Here, Improve Performance. You can check these things off. Do not print total page length. Do not show quantity on hand. And inventory item lookup lists. Here, we can have line item entry display as one line or two line. We recommend leaving it set at two line and smart data entry. We recommend checking both of these boxes. Field completion and drop down list. Let's go demonstrate both of these. Maintain customers. Right when I begin typing the drop down list appears and Peachtree extends out so it completes the field that I'm typing in. Let's come back into Options, Global, the General tab. And then down here, Color Scheme. If you prefer, you can pick a different color scheme, scheme for your Peachtree software. These are the maintained general options that you can set with your software per workstation. So if you're operating on a network, you'll want to set these options for each workstation.